Hi everyone, welcome to the course titled Learn Thymleap with Spring Boot. Well, this course is for beginners who want to learn about Thymleap templates and build Spring Boot MUC web applications. Well, in this course, you are going to learn all about Thymleap templates and then you will learn how to use Thymleap in a Spring Boot web MUC application. Let's take a look into what you will learn in this course. You will learn what is Thymleap, how Thymleap engine works, Next, you will learn Spring MUC basics like what is Spring MUC, Dispatcher Servlet, Spring MUC Core Components, how Spring MUC works internally, Spring Boot Web MUC architecture. Well, we are going to develop a Spring Boot Web MUC applications, hence, you need to have a basic understanding of Spring MUC, isn't it? That's why I'm going to cover Spring MUC core concepts in this course. Next, you will learn how to create Spring Boot project and how to integrate Thymleap in a Spring Boot project. Next, you will learn Spring Boot auto configuration for Thymleap. Next, you will learn how to create, you know, Thymleap Hello World example using Spring Boot. Next, you will learn important Thymleap attribute that is th colon text Thymleap attribute. Next, you will learn Thymleap standard expressions such as variable expressions, selection expressions, message expressions, link expressions, and fragment expressions. So these are the very important Thymleap standard expressions that we frequently use in our Thymleap templates. Next, you will learn how to iterate our loop in a Thymleap templates. Next, you will learn how to perform epails and switch case conditions in a Thymleap templates. Next, you will learn form handling in a Thymleap. Well, I'm going to cover different form controls like input text field, selection box, checkbox, radio uh, you know, button, and also a password field. Well, I'm going to cover uh, important form controls in this section of the lectures. Well, once you learn Thymleap fundamentals, Next, we are going to build student management system project using Spring Boot, Spring MUC, Thymely Find MySQL database. Alright, and here let me show you the demo what exactly we are going to build. So this is how the student management system project looks like. Well, in this project we are going to perform code operations like we are going to add a new student, we are going to edit the student, we are going to delete the student and we are going to view the student. For example, let me quickly add the student. So here we can use new student link to go to the create student page. And here let me add student first name as Ramesh, last name as Fartare and email id as a Ramesh at the rate gmail.com and you can able to see a new student is added to the list of students page. Next we can edit this existing student for example let me edit this Ramesh student over here and let me change the first name from Ramesh to Ramesh123 and email id Ramesh123 at the rate gmail.com and here you can able to see we can able to edit the student and we can also delete the student and we can view the student okay so these are the you know crude operations that we are going to perform in this student management system project all right you will learn a lot about time leap in this course this course is for beginners who want to learn family fundamentals and build spring boot web muc applications well here are the requirements for this course you need to know about Java, Spring Boot Basics and using IntelliJ IDEA ID. And here are the tools and technologies that we will be using in this course. We will be using Java 17, Spring Boot 3, Spring Framework 6, Spring MUC 6, Thymleap 3 and we will be using Bootstrap CSS 5 framework and we will be using Spring Data JPA and Hibernate and MySQL database and we will be using Maven and then we will be using IntelliJ IDEA to develop the project. Alright and who this course is for? Well, this course is for beginners who want to learn Thymleap and build Spring Boot MUC web applications. Well, this course is for your course, but going forward, I'll be adding a more content for this course. Alright, great. I will see you in the course.